left out. So here's the x-axis. It's stretching out in the x-direction. And again, you can see your parallel lines, you know, with kind of helping to form a curve. I know you could also make Again, you can picture a piece of paper bent. It's just, I with the window I used, you have those asymptotes of secant, so that's why you, know, you have these separate little sections. All right, so again, one, we're just trying to get exposed to different ways to come up with equations for different kinds of surfaces. One type of surface is a surface that could be made by bending a piece of paper. It's technically called a cylinder, so this is a cylinder even though it doesn't look like a Pringles can. Um, if you do have such a shape, you'll be able to find a direction of parallel lines that kind of form your shape. And a way to come up with such an equation is to write a function in two of the variables but interpret it in 3D and you get your piece of paper stretching out in the direction of the variable that's missing. Okay, I'm just kind of repeating what I said. All right, the other type of surface are the quadric surfaces, and they're an extension of conic graphs. Like back in college algebra, you guys should have studied conic sections, conic graphs. And in college algebra, you would have learned about circles, ellipses, parabolas, hyperbolas. Okay, so quadric surfaces are an extension of that topic. Better move my bag. I'm having a bad day today. Day. I wiped out running, so I'm all scraped up. I don't need to fall again. <laughs> Luckily, I've learned how to fall. I, I throw 